Can you pass me the trash bag? Yeah. You mean a trash bag? <laughs> the white bag? Is it up there? It's in the back. Oh. Wow, man. The baby's bottle in there. Baby, to get kidnapped? You're dragging back memories? No, I just know this is not a good area. Do you kill anyone in Nebraska? Huh? Do you kill anyone in Nebraska? The no what? Carry him. That's what I'm saying. So just take him off that and carry him. No, just carry him. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
There you go. Daddy left us, Jess. Where did Daddy go, Jess? Where did Daddy go, Jess? Jess, what bottle you want? Let's see. This one is like a straw. Like this? Or should it be like a bottle? Oh, like this. Yeah, this looks nice. This one? Cool. Are you struggling with fishy discharge? Does your vagina feel a little off? Does it smell a little off no matter how many times you wipe? No matter what you do, no matter what you put in, no matter what you use to clean it out, it just, the smell does not go away. Well, I think you may have bacterial vaginosis. You know how I know? Because I've suffered with it for like most of my adult life. <laughs> Unfortunately, but I'm here with good news. If you are struggling, you don't have to struggle anymore guys. Down um, below this video, I have a link to my step-by-step -step course where I show you exactly how I myself have, you right? Where I show you step-by-step -step what I do to get rid of my bacterial vaginosis. Literally like the course is like five minutes guys. It works, it's effective. Once it's gone, it's gone. I have a video if you guys want to check it out, like just search in my videos, like bacterial vaginosis. I show you what to not do so it doesn't come back. But granted, if you do, if you don't do what you're not supposed to do, then it won't come back and you will be BV free. And that's how I've been. The course is $10,997, but it's definitely worth it if you like stress, if you have, um, if you have something to do, if you gotta like sleep with your man tonight, or you know, you just like have to get on with your life and you don't wanna like leave the house smelling like a fish, well then buy my course and it'll literally be gone and you can like get ready and leave and you'll be good to go. So yeah, I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. Bye. Bye. Papa? You like this? 
10, 12 month babies. They're perfect. These are so cute. They look bougie. All right, let's go. I, I'm I have. I don't like to get home late. You know, I don't like to be away from Max. And we're just here just standing around. And you're just like, with your little attitude. Oh, look. He would love this, baby. You say you don't got a budget. Look, let's get him. That's, that's girl stuff. This is not girl. That's girl that's stuff. Look, look at the line. It's girl this stuff. This side is girls. Yes, they are. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Well, then buy him something for boys. This is for girls, too? Girl this is on the girl's side. Look. All girl's stuff. This is boys. Yeah, those are boys, but not for him. Look. It's ten dollars. Alright, this is it. This is my birth my push present. Alright, let's Stop go. Stop putting me in the video. Look, this is Clarence. Look, this is boys. How much is this? Yeah. This is nine dollars. All right, this you is it. About that? No, he needs both. It's cold. <laughs> All right, let's go. Give me a hug. <laughs> I'll meet you at the cash register. You're childish. The products. I'm not, your face is not in it, Mark. Like, you're like, you're famous. Look, the baby's hungry. Let's go. Let's go, Jets. All right. Let's go. Going to self checkout, or that's like all they have. They have a checkers in here. Pretty lake. It smells like poo poo. It's <laughs> <laughs> a workout. You use the key to get in there. And those two keys. Hi. When I asked you the other day if you had moved, you're like, no. I'm at my dad's. I didn't say that. Did I say that? Jets, we're in your daddy's room. You wanna give us a room stop, tour? Stop, stop, no. You wanna give us a room tour? Hell no. Jets. You wanna get daddy's bed, Wagwan. <laughs> you wanna get Wagwan's bed? Babe, there's really, oh my god, I thought, there's no screen? That is so dangerous. 
Oh my gosh, you that is terrifying. Go the Possibly. Mm, see, you see him? He's strong. Is this the doggy here? Is this the doggy? Oh yeah, he needs to meet Brooklyn. Yeah. Woof woof. Babe, I was like, what well, smells like weed? You smell like weed. I'm crushing out the weed. No, you, you don't even smell like weed. You smell like... Food? No, you smell like... You've been like just sitting in smoke all day. Basically, I don't food. No, that's <laughs> not the type of smoke. Oh, like weed smoking. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta put me while, while I'm naked. I'm not putting you in it. I know what to record and not record. I do this. I get paid for this. You think you think I would put you so I can get demonetized and lose money? <laughs> Very funny, Wagwan. <laughs> Tell me about Wagwan. What, what does Wagwan mean? What's up? Yeah, what's up, Wagwan? Mr. Wagwan. Mr. What's up? <laughs> oh, trying to get out. Let's take this off. This is a salad, and this is a, this is the this is the pork, and this is a steak, some chips. Okay, go. And this is what I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry. As soon as I come out the bathroom, hmm. this is what I'm gonna eat. Fucking serious right now.
is so soft though. Mm. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Feel it smells so soft. Feel it. Mom. Mm -hmm. I didn't even like this so much. Mm -hmm. Just because there's some food, I better send the fur off. You have some Just because he's eating the fur off. Uh, he has some peas, but they're cold. <laughs> No, pero sí vende, ¿no? Porque la única es que es que no tiene gallina, que a mí pues no tienen química. Y hor y hor y hormones. Sí, bueno, es más caro, pero más caro que este pollo. Porque es más caro. Entonces, según esto el pollo es es con puro criado, no tiene químico, no tiene comida con químico. Por eso criado así como de pinza, pues. Dark or rough? Yeah, I know, I noticed it. For a second, it looked like it was scratching it, but now it looks like kind of like X month. Hi, guys. Hope you all is well. Um, me and Jets are back. Um, as you guys can see, I hung out with Mark, my son's dad, baby daddy, and yeah, so, where should I start? Initially going in, so basically the reason I even called him is because, I'm going to be honest, so, Obviously, I have two baby daddies, my daughter's dad and my son's dad. I'm obsessed with my daughter's dad. It's kind of, like, ridiculous how much I'm, like, into him. And so, yeah, so we, we talked, like, a few days ago. Like, we talked, like, a couple weeks. Like, a week or two ago, let's say that. We talked, like, a week or two ago, me and my daughter's dad. And he told me he was going to come to 2024, which is Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Yesterday he was supposed to come. And, I don't know, my baby dad is, like, really mysterious. I don't know where he lives. Um, he used to stay here in Tampa, but he's, like, been moving around. Honestly, I could not tell you where he lives. And so, he, anyways, when we spoke last night, he spoke, he said he was going to come today, yesterday. He didn't come yesterday. And so, I don't have a phone right now. I use a text now number on my, I, like, access it through my laptop. I, don't know, I was going to show you, but I have some numbers pulled up. Yeah, so I use the Text Now website to make calls and stuff. And so yesterday, my baby daddy has this habit of like he says he's going to come and he never does, or he says he'll come and he'll come like late. He's not punctual at all. Like he, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe he really likes me, and he knows I really like him because he definitely does not like come on time. You would think, right? Like, oh, he really likes music. No, like. He knows I'm obsessed with him, so it's like, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with him. So anyway, so the whole day yesterday I was like out and about. I didn't want to stay home because I knew I was going to check like my text now and website number and I would be kind of upset if like he hadn't called me and stuff. So I went the whole day without checking and then later that night, yesterday, later, um, last night I checked and he did not call me guys. So then I kind of like blew his phone up today, kind of like, why didn't you come yesterday? And he sent me a message. So he wasn't responding to me. He had called me. So yeah, so I blew up his phone to see like, okay, like, why didn't you come? And so I was kind of in my feelings, I kind of felt triggered. So then I called Mark, my son's dad, and I don't know, I was kind of on my rebellious, like, type of behavior where I was going to, like, I was, uh, this is like, I'm, I have such a toxic mind, guys. Because my baby daddy wasn't answering me and he didn't show up yesterday, I was considering, highly considering sleeping with Mark, like, today, just now. 
So I texted Mark and initially, no. I don't even know why I called him. I think I just called him to see, like, because, like, Jet's, I mean, um, Max's dad didn't answer, so then we called Jet's dad. And then, like, in the middle of the phone call, he was like, oh, yeah, I can come pick you up. So then as soon as he was like, oh, like, I can come pick you up, I started thinking about, okay, like, what if he did come pick me up? So then I was kind of, like, going for it. Obviously, he came. Um, initially, I was going to take Max, my daughter, but she doesn't have a car seat, so that's why I just took Jet's. But I think that's why I was uncomfortable, too, kind of the whole time, because, like, I was missing Max. So yeah, so the idea was we're going to go to his apartment and like have sex. That's what he, he asked me and I was just kind of like, yeah, sure, we'll see how it goes, you know. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like what the idea was going into that. We we're going to see how things went. But he was trying to smash. Um, and yeah, like everything was cool. I we went to Walmart, he saw how he was acting all like, oh, I don't want to be on camera. I'm like, bro, this is my job. That was like one of the, one. Of, there was already, I was already kind of like not feeling it. And then that was like solidified. I'm like... I need a partner that's okay with being on camera. Like, this is what I do. I show you guys my life, like, my kids, but I do. I'm not going to stop vlogging for a day because I'm hanging out with you. I damn near don't even like doing things that don't work, that don't allow me to vlog because that's, like, what I do. I vlog everything. Like, I try to capture every moment with my kids, of them, with them, whatever, of the world, of the way I perceive life and, you know, allowing you guys to see it through my lens. So if I can't freaking show you guys, show me, us at Walmart, like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, he acts all, like, embarrassed or shy or awkward, so that was kind of like, ugh. Whatever, so yeah, it was nice. He did buy the baby a few things, that's why I wanted to show you guys. But I kind of wanted to show you, like, what I was going, I was, what I was thinking going into it. And then after we did smoke, I just leave it at that, we did smoke. Um, so that was kind of cool. I don't know. He put gravel leaf in it. And so I don't really like gravel leaf. It was really harsh. But, um, I still, it was a cool experience. And then I came home and you guys saw, like, my whole family was here. That's literally my life. Every time I finally smoke, my whole family is, like, home. And it's, like, awkward. And I'm like, do they know, you know? But, yeah, I'm going to show you guys what we got from Walmart. things we got was we got this two-piece outfit it's like a little cardigan type of fur sweater and it comes with a bottom it's from walmart but it's the brand modern moments and it was on clearance that's what you know drew me to the area and i was like this is on clearance this looks like it's from like nordstrom right <laughs> If I took everything apart and just changed the hanger, you have no idea it's from Walmart. Cool. That. He also got Jets. This little lamb. Oh, it shakes. This little lamb of mine. Are you a lamb? He's hungry, but that's okay. Because guess what we, else we got? We got him some formula. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. I felt bad asking of this because I get WIC and I get food stamps. Hear me out, though. I could have bought this formula with my food stamps. But I just wanted, like, he's never, I don't think he's bought the baby anything. No, he hasn't. Let me not say never, but it's not ringing a bell right now. Like, I don't think he's bought the baby anything, like, ever. <laughs> I don't know. Sad, but he's only seen him twice. So when we were like, he's like, "What do you need?" I don't really. Need him. I said bibs, and then I and then he suggested getting the baby bottle because you know Jets is almost six months. Well, he's five months. He's like, he needs to drink water. So I was like, yeah, I guess we can get him a bottle. Kind of insinuating like, well, if you think we should get it, then why don't you buy the bottle? And he was talking about the dollar store at first, but then once I said formula, it kind of like led into like, okay, well, let's just go to Walmart. So we got this Enfamil. This is the rice one. This is supposed to reduce spit ups, but honestly, guys, I don't see the difference. But I like it because it's kind of like, you know, it's rice. It feels like you're giving your baby, like, a variety of things. So this is nice. 
Um, but yeah, I haven't seen the spit up. I more so do it for flavor, even though I think it's kind of sweeter. Maybe it's sweeter than the regular one. Right now, I'm giving him the yellow Enfamil, and then for a while, I was giving him in between like the breast milk one because I was like feeling bougie with my food stamps, so I got the breast milk one. Um, and so that's that. We also got this bottle from Nuke. This is how it looks. It's for six months. Let's see. It is for six months plus easy um, bottle to cup transition. And um, it says learner cup. This is how the nipple looks. So we'll see how it goes. I'll um, probably do that tomorrow. I'm going to leave it out so I remember so I can wash it and we'll put some water. Hi, good day. And we also got him. Look at what your brother got. We got, oh, so this was in a size um, 18 months. This is 18 months, so this will probably fit him in a few months. Um, yeah. And this is 2T. This is a blippy pajama, super cute. And this one's one, this was $9.98. And then look at the bottom. And then we also got some bibs. These are um, Gerber bibs.